Okay, now we begin uh, with the next presentation with Professor Zin, uh, Bin Zhu from uh, Shanghai, uh, who was also double duty translating too, as well as presenting. <laughs> so uh, we welcome uh, Dr. Bin. It's, it's all yours, Dr. Bin. Okay, thank you. So can you see my screen? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, okay, yes. okay. Thank you. So uh, this is my topic, uh, Bypass for Complex uh, MCA Aneurysm. So just like uh, you, Professor Yuha mentioned, uh, the open surgery is still the best choice for MCA aneurysm because MCA is quite uh, uh, superficial to achieve. And uh, uh, this is a great re reconstruction for the giant aneurysm. Uh, MCA, very big one, because that, uh, this segment still have <coughs> some uh, important perforator. Uh, it it have uh, have to be protected very well. So this is uh, I used uh, uh, eleven clips to reconstruct the uh, blood flow cavity. So this is another one. Uh, two pouches uh, with two clips. So uh, uh, the intracranial uh, giant uh, complex aneurysm, we uh, use a lot of bypass technique to uh, treat the uh, giant, uh, giant and complex aneurysms because uh, by now uh, the interventional treatment uh, still have a uh, high recurrence uh, rate and the delayed occlusion of parent artery and operators. And uh, sometimes uh, because we uh, use a lot of uh, antiplatelet drugs, so bleeding after treatment is still a big problem. For direct uh, clipping surgery, sometimes it's too large for clips and uh, the calcification of the wall makes a uh, uh, procedure very, very difficult. And the pro protection of the preparators is all, uh, very difficult. Also. So this is a case of a flu diverter. Uh, it has a higher risk of bleeding comparing to clips, uh, clipping. So this is a, a, a boy, uh, 10 years old, M1 uh, big aneurysm. We can see there's a lot of uh, LSA uh, originated from the cavity, uh, 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 the dome of the aneurysm. So we treated it with a pipeline uh, with coils. But uh, the second day, it have a hematoma, a distal of the MCA. So. We remove the hematoma and uh, do the cryotomy. So after six months, uh, the final result is quite good, but uh, the, uh, the, the patient is recovered quite well, because, uh, but uh, still have some uh, problem. So uh, bypass is a hemodynamic treatment for MCA aneurysms. Uh, uh, bypass uh, normally combined with direct occlusion of MCA or sometimes combined with distal occlusion of MCA, sometimes uh, combined with uh, trapping of MCA aneurysms. So the purpose is to decrease the pressure of the aneurysms, uh, aneurysms keep the blood flow in perforators and keep the blood flow uh, in distal parent artery. Sometimes we also use protective bypass, uh, get more time. Uh, of te uh, temporal. So uh, this is uh, uh, the preparation. MEPS EP monitoring is routine in every complex MCA aneurysm. The ICG uh, flow 800 is helpful in selection of the recipient artery. 
and the hybrid uh, operation room is the best choice. Uh, this is a, a inch of uh, angiogram in the operation. We can see the distal uh, bypass of the, uh, the blood flow recurrent to the M2 segment. So this is uh, our MCA aneurysm uh, straightage. Uh, it was published uh, two years ago. Uh, this is a fusiform MCA aneurysm. Uh, if uh, it's a non-dissecting fusiform aneurysm, uh, if the LSA uh, was not involved, uh, the clip reconstruction and the, uh, or wrapping uh, can achieve. If the LSA was uh, involved, we use partial trapping combined or uh, high flow ECIC bypass. If the uh, it's a fusiform dissecting aneurysm, uh, we normally use uh, the partial trapping combined high flow bypass. Uh, if it's uh, 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 located to the bifurcation, uh, the distal uh, three trap combined uh, com combination bypass. Sometimes use the uh, radio artery combined with the STA MCA bypass. If it's uh, uh, there's two trunks uh, was in Involved. We use uh, proximal occlusion combined high flow uh, radio artery bypass or double STA bypass. If it's uh, only uh, one trunk was in, uh, involved, we use a partial trapping combined with a low flow uh, STA MCA bypass. If it's a M2 segment, uh, normally we use a STA MCA bypass. That's enough. So uh, my personal uh, principle. Uh, that the surgical plan should be as simple as possible. Uh, the bypass time is uh, should be as fast as possible. The number of the uh, stomas should be as few as possible. Uh, for the uh, MCA uh, territory uh, blood flow replacement, uh, for male patient, normally two STA branches uh, are enough for replace the whole MCA territory. For female patient, normally the STA was uh, uh, thinner than the males, so STA double by uh, branch was not enough. May need the radio artery uh, transplantation. So one STA uh, branch can create double barrel bypass to increase the donor uh, flow. Yeah, we'll So now I skip the skip the video okay. and uh, this is a type one the distal ICA to M1 segment aneurysm. Uh, it's a, a quite a large aneurysm, so we should re uh, replace the whole MCA territory and uh, protect the perforators. So this uh, is a territory we should uh, replace the blood flow. So glomer occlusion test is uh, positive. So with the uh, uh, SCP MEP monitoring, we uh, change the uh, position of the clips, uh, including the permanent and the temporal clips, to make sure the, to keep the uh, perforators uh, intact. So this patient is uh, uh, use uh, radio artery to MCA. So this is uh, uh, another one, uh, more distal uh, M1 segment giant aneurysm. So we uh, get the uh, proximal occlusion and combined with distal STA, uh, ECA, uh, radio artery to MCA bypass. We can see the uh, radio artery was patent and the blood flow come to the M uh, M2 segment and uh, uh, replace the whole 
uh, MCA territory. And this is type two uh, unruptured M1 uh, long segment aneurysm with a thick wall. This kind of patient, we uh, can consider the distal occlusion combined the distal bypass. The blood flow replacement should cover uh, two M2 uh, branch. So we use uh, uh, temporal clip to clip the different branch of the uh, distal uh, MCA. Then we decide uh, which is the distal uh, branch of the superior trunk and the uh, inferior trunk. Then we select the recipient artery and do the end to side uh, stomas. So this is uh, uh, the final result. We can see the double bypass of the all patent and uh, the blood flow of the uh, parent artery was totally uh, replaced. So after one week, the CTA shows uh, uh, and uh, the annual didn't show anymore. So this is a more distal M2 uh, superior trunk big aneurysm. We can see this is a partially thrombosed aneurysm. And this is a, a dome of the aneurysm. We can see it's a very uh, huge, yeah, even bigger than the angiogram because it's a partially thrombosed. So uh, before we uh, resect the thrombos and uh, reconstruct the uh, blood flow, we did the uh, double uh, the uh, protective bypass uh, STA to M M4 segment. Then after the protective uh, uh, bypass, I directly uh, reconstruct the uh, vessel cavity. Now actually the vessel cavity was uh, reconstructed very well, so we can see the superior trunk now is uh, very, very, in very good shape. And uh, the final result is uh, quite good. So this is the uh, so-called protective STA bypass. So type, uh, this is type four, uh, aneurysm uh, resection uh, combined uh, in situ anastomosis of M2. Uh, for this uh, aneurysm, it's also a superior trunk, uh, big aneurysm, partially thrombosed. We can see, uh, but it's, uh, uh, the, the vessel is quite tortured, so they still have some uh, space. After remove the aneurysm, we can achieve the end-to-end uh, -end anastomosis from the proximal to the uh, distal part. So this is after the insightful anastomosis we can see the vessel wall was totally reconstructed very well. So this is uh, another uh, proximal uh, occlusion of the STA, uh, uh, superior trunk uh, combined with distal uh, bypass. We can see the distal bypass replaced the uh, superior trunk. This is uh, also partial thrombosed uh, big aneurysm. It's a quite a long uh, segment, uh, more than two centimeters. So this uh, we uh, this uh, uh, big aneurysm is uh, partially thrombosed and the uh, dome's wall was very very thick. So we only did the distal bypass combined the distal STA M3 bypass. Sometimes we we could even use a hybrid treatment. You can see this is a M1 segment uh, big aneurysm, and the, uh, we can see uh, the ASA was uh, uh, originated from the uh, very close to the dome of the aneurysm. So we have no space to clip the uh, to achieve the proximal uh, clip of the aneurysm. So I use uh, the coils to achieve the proximal control of the uh, aneurysm. And uh, we can see the, all the perforators was protected very well at this segment. And the uh, distal bypass was all patent. And the blood flow recurrent uh, uh, reflow to the M2 segment. 
So sometimes we, uh, uh, the radio artery, uh, especially the uh, patient is a sh short, uh, sometimes the radio artery was not long enough. So we can use uh, a new graft artery, right GEA. So this is a, a M1 segment, uh, big aneurysm. I use a new bypass graft, uh, graft artery right gastric uh, gastroepiploic artery. So this uh, artery was quite uh, quite long. Uh, normally, it's uh, the the mean length is uh, 22 to 29 centimeters. The diameters uh, from proximal to distal uh, uh, is uh, normally is 3.3 uh, to uh, 1.3 millimeter. So it's uh, longer than the radio artery. So in this patient, uh, it's uh, uh, long enough to do the STA, right GEA to MCA bypass, uh, combined another STA MCA bypass. Then I trap the uh, endosome. So this is the final result. We can see the uh, two clips in the proximal and the distal part of the aneurysm and the double bypass was all patent. So the right GA is a longer than radio artery, normally used as a graft for chrono, uh, coronary bypass, can also be used in cerebral aneurysm bypass. So this is a take home message. Uh, every MCA Complex aneurysm should have a tailored plan for blood flow replacement and the protection of the important perforators. So the surgical plan, uh, according to my opinion, should be as simple as possible, and the bypass time should be as fast as possible. The number of the stomas should be as few as possible. So one branch of STA can create double bi barrel bypass to increase the uh, donor flow. Uh, radio artery and the right GEA can be used uh, if STA flow was not enough. The distal occlusion of uh, parent artery only used in unruptured thick wall aneurysm with important perforators. Uh, uh, MEP and SEP monitoring is the uh, utmost important. Uh, intraoperative ICG or angiogram is very helpful. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Bin, uh, okay. for, for coming back and finishing. And uh, any comments and questions from the panelists, please? Go ahead, uh, Lewis. Let me unmute yourself mm. there, Lewis. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations on your presentation. One question. Uh, after, uh, after bypass, the patient is by antiplatelet therapy or not? Uh, uh, normally, uh, just to use uh, aspirin. How long? Uh, uh, for one month, yeah, okay. maybe. Sometimes uh, it, it, it depends, you know, sometimes I don't use aspirin. Mm -hmm. And you are the control with the pressure, blood pressure? Yeah, just uh, to the baseline. Yes. Yeah. The level is about? Yeah. Uh, 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 keep the baseline uh, uh, with a pre-operative uh, level. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. More comments, questions? Go ahead. Hi, hey, Daniel. <laughs> Yes. Um, do you have um, after they do? Um, do you use the radial graph after uh, bifurcation? I mean, or just using um, distal or proximal aneurysm? I mean, I when do you use the the radial graph? A radial graph. Normally, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The radiograph uh, only used in the proximal uh, MCA uh, aneurysm. 
more proximal, uh, should be uh, uh, replaced the whole MCA territory. Sometimes, uh, especially in female patients, uh, the uh, STA was too small and the blood flow was not enough for replace the whole MCA territory. This kind of condition we use uh, MC, uh, radio artery. For male patient, normally, uh, especially for the uh, uh, strong adult uh, male patient, normally the double branch of STA uh, is big enough for replace the uh, whole MCA territory. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, more comments, questions from the panelists before we close? Okay, looks, it looks like we no one else has a comment or question. Okay, very good. Uh, thanks okay. for okay. thanks for coming back again, Ben, and thanks for uh, translating, uh, and thanks for you and Lewis for the presentation, and we look forward to next week, and we'll edit this and get it into your hands. <laughs> okay, we'll see you next week. Okay, see you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.